पठा को टेर्र अटाक होम शाख कार्यदर्शि राजीव मेहरीषि लाइव This was uh, near a village called Gulpur Simbali, which is in police station Narut Jamal. On receiving these uh, inputs, these reports, an alert was immediately sounded, and all the vital installations and government offices. were informed of a likely terrorist attack and efforts were mounted to reconfirm the infiltration <coughs> and also to try to see in which direction they had the terrorists had proceeded and what might their location be by the afternoon at the of first we were more or less certain of their location which was pathan court a meeting was immediately convened at the level of nsa attended by everybody concerned including the chief of the army staff and thereafter a unit of nsc was dispatched to pathan court and the units in pathan court were further alerted in the morning of 2nd january at about 3:30 the terrorists were located by means of aerial surveillance which had been mounted by the air force overnight and they were immediately engaged because of the early action of mounting aerial surveillance on account of the alert the terrorists were unable to move <laughs> towards their likely intended target of the technical area which has air force assets but were contained in an area which was uh, which is ravenous and uh, which has got heavy growth of both trees and shrubs they were contained in that area and surrounded and combing operations were started <coughs> the engagement took almost the entire day but by evening of yesterday four of the terrorists had been neutralized there was no further firing and it was not sure certain whether there are other terrorists or not in the operations by the evening the operations had to be taken out had to be done more carefully to avoid unnecessary risks to the life of security forces but the area in which the terrorists terrorists were was firmly cordoned and there was no chance of them escaping that area in the morning the engagement they were discovered by about 1220 where they were hiding there were at least two more they have been engaged since 1220 and the operation is going on they are limited to an area and we are very hopeful that by the evening by this evening these two terrorists will also be neutralized in the two days of operation we have unfortunately lost six security personnel of the air force and we have eight injured air force personnel in so far as nsg is concerned this morning at about 10 o'clock while searching the body of a dead terrorist there seems to have been an accident with an explosive either a grenade or another form of explosive and in which five nsg personnel were injured unfortunately the leader of the team lieutenant colonel niranjan ek later on succumb to his injuries <coughs> other than this the nsg has had nine injuries in the two days of operation thus the nsg has lost 
one uh, life and has <clears throat> 12 injuries. So I, I will repeat that the Air Force has uh, lost six personnel and has eight injured personnel. The NAC has lost Lieutenant Colonel Niranjan E.K. and has 12 injuries so far. Twelve injuries. Twelve. Nine I was counting other than those, uh, the others who got injured in the grenade blast or the explosive blast. So, so we carry it again. Uh. Yeah. NSG 12. Uh, Injured, one dead. Yes. And others are nine. No, that's it. So, no, this, uh, the dead will or injured will include DSC. So they, since they were in duty with the Air Force, we are deeming them as Air Force personnel. Uh, I would like to uh, end my opening statement, my statement by saying. Haan ji. Haan ji. Yes. One crore and five DSC. Yeah. So uh, one uh, Nayak Srimalu is seriously injured and he's been airlifted to Chandigarh. He's grievously injured. The others are. Uh, not grievously enough injured to be lifted out of the hospital in Pathan Court. At the end of this, may I just finish? At the end of this statement, I would just like to say that due to the active intelligence inputs and advanced information and the quick action taken by the security forces, especially the Air Force, uh, 